Hey everybody, cheers. Uh, April morning coffee. Uh, it's just before noon. So, um, in this quick vlog, a vlog in a car, I want to talk about one of the most important lessons I got from martial arts. And that lesson was to be open-minded and to expose yourself to new ideas and conflicting ideas. So in martial arts, I started out with judo, which is a grappling style, Japanese grappling style. I think most people know what judo is. So then what I did is I went to a striking style, a kicking style, a karate, Japanese karate, and I forget the style of karate it was at the time. Then I moved into uh, taekwondo, which is pure kicking. And then I went into a, uh, a kempo derivative, something called keju kempo. You get the idea, so on and so forth. And I would go from different schools, different styles. And one of the reasons I would switch styles and schools was to expose myself to different ways of thinking. And a lot of times, the different styles would conflict in terms of what they thought was the best way to train or fight. Especially, uh, especially things like uh, karate, punching, the way they punch versus boxing. I did boxing for about five years, et cetera, and so on. And what I found is that the more different ideas, different schools of thought that you can expose yourself to, the more likely you're going to find out what is real or what is true. It's, you know, it's like an old, uh, an old expression. You don't know white until you seen black, right? You need that contrast to be able to compare. So when it comes to development, when it comes to programming, you have to look at it the same way. So let's say you are a big advocate of PHP. That's your, that's your language. You love PHP and everything else sucks. What I would suggest that you do, once you really know PHP well, you're comfortable with building apps with PHP, you understand object-oriented PHP, you should explore another language. And just to see how other languages approach software development and app development, that will be a very, very uh, important lesson for you. You're going to learn a lot more than you thought possible because just the fact you're going to be able to compare, let's say, Python as an example, versus PHP. And it doesn't mean you're going to drop PHP and you're going to go with Python, but what you'll find is by learning Python, your PHP is going to get much better. That happened to me, and that's one of the reasons why I explored many different languages and I've written commercial apps, apps, been paid to build apps or my own apps that were used and in, in, in were commercial in several different programming languages over the years. I've lost count. I, I usually just say eight or nine. It could be nine or ten, something like that. So every new language that I worked with, my skills as a programmer uh, increased. And what you'll discover in the end, as I discover with martial arts, the programming language does not matter whatsoever. The programming language doesn't matter in the end. At the end of the day, what separates the good coders from the not so good coders is their ability to program regardless of language. I'm just making sure this guy doesn't hit me. Okay, we're good. So, yeah, you got to learn at some point to not get caught in a camp. I'm a PHP guy. I'm a Ruby guy. I'm a Python guy. And everything else sucks. No, no, no. You're a coder. You're a developer. And whatever tool you use, PHP, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, whatever. What, whichever tool you use is almost irrelevant. As long as you're a good coder, you'll be able to produce a good app. That said, certain languages are better suited to certain circumstances, like cars. Some cars, Jeeps, are better if you want to go off-roading. I wouldn't take my, uh, my Audi off-roading. Uh, you know, not that the Audi is a crappy car, it's just that it's not designed to be you know, going off-roading. It's something for the highway. Nice roads, can't beat it. So, be willing to challenge your own ideas in any field, really, it doesn't just apply to programming. That's for sure. It could be in it could be in business. It could be in programming. It could be martial arts. It could be in politics. 
I, for instance, uh, will always look on both the left and the right side and hear what people are saying on the left and what people are saying on the right. And hopefully I'll get a much better idea of what's really going on. So that's all I'm suggesting when you look at everything. If you, if you want to figure out what's real, what's true, which will give you the best advantage out there when you're competing, you have to be open to challenging your own ideas and, and changing your point of view about something if the information that, that uh, comes to you contradicts an old idea. And uh, that's it.